if you're new here, welcome to the channel. And if you're not, welcome back to the channel. And on this video, today I'm going to be talking talking about, well, someone who is cl clearly a TikToker named Soupy Poopy 69 And, uh, from the dislikes of this video, he got a lot of, uh, backlash from it. And, uh, you know, people, how should I put this? People have, uh, disagree with all of his points, I guess. And that's the thing that we are going to be talking about very, very, uh, shortly. So, buckle up, and, uh, let's get right into this. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another epic Soupy Poopy 69 YouTube video. In my last YouTube video, I, I criticized a content creator named uh, Tanner Hendrickson. You guys seem to enjoy that a lot. I had a lot of fun making it. So today we're going to be looking at a different content creator that I feel like would uh, make for an entertaining critical commentary. So the guy we're looking at today, um, his name is Optimus, and I think it's very possible that he is the worst commentary channel with over a million subscribers. There are no pictures out there of him that I can find since all his videos are just him fucking comment. He might be the worst because sometimes he says some dumb shit like, uh, he, like I saw some videos about it too. Like he, he complains about game theory, uh, stretching their videos longer while he uh, makes longer videos too and he also stretches them commentating on shitty internet videos over unrelated gameplay. So that right there should give you a sort of an indication as to what kind of a creator we're looking at. He's also by far the biggest fucking incel I've seen in a really long time. So this is, this is one of the first videos I found by him, um, titled, Imagine If A Man Did This. You probably uh, guess what, what that implies. I, I personally think when it comes down to it, man, you should not be touching anybody, right? Don't put your hands on anyone. If it's unwarranted or unsolicited, do not touch people. So, so basically what he's talking about here is there was this video that went around on TikTok of these girls going on public transportation, uh, sort of just grabbing random men by the thigh, recording their reaction. Obviously that's harassment and it's not cool. I don't think anyone was defending it in the comments at all. But, but he's not angry about people getting away with harassing other people in public transportation. He, he's angry that, that women are getting away with it. I think a lot of you already know where I'm about to go with this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Imagine if a man did this. Imagine if the roles were reversed, okay? Imagine if any of these guys got on the train. And so, you know, traffic a little bit was there. Fucking yes. No one, no one is contesting that if a man were to attempt doing what these women got away with, that he's more likely to be held accountable for what he did. You're not angry that men are being touched without their consent. You're just angry that women are more likely to get away with it. And some, you know, attractive woman was sitting there, minding her own fucking business, looking at her phone, and some guy grabbed her thigh, pretty close to her crotch. There might be several people on the train trying to beat this guy's ass, or restrain this sexual deviant animal, it would be all over the place, man. It would be one of it would be a horrible crime that occurred on the train, you know? This pervert. He would be a pervert and a sexual deviant. Why why are you using a sarcastic tone? The criminal justice system is definitely more, more lenient towards women than it is to men. But you seem to be more angry about the fact that men can't get away with the same stuff that women do. I know people are gonna try I mean yeah, uh, there's lots of men and women that can get away with things. 
always like seems to get so fucking close to like getting the point and then just completely missing it. Watching Optimus react to um, cringy stuff on the internet, it, it's very similar to watching a very young child have a difficult time wrapping their head around the fact that what's on TV is scripted. Like he's completely unaware that this is a scripted fictional situation. Since all the context goes right over his head, he, he creates this backstory from scratch. Now right here is a news article in which um, this girl is interviewed and she says, don't worry, this was a joke. So fucking right there, there is no, there's no debating whether or not this was a joke. Rules for your- Well, I can definitely see this, but. your new gifts. If I call, you must pause game and talk to me with full attention. Yeah, that's not how an online game works. So you don't just pause it. I think this just shows how interested you are in your boyfriend's hobbies to where you think that that's what the fuck happens. But even then, he doesn't have to devote all this time. He is allowed to have hobbies. It's like he's never spoken to a woman in his entire life. I don't understand how people can think this way. Actually, he has spoken to a woman. I saw a video that he did before he deleted it. Uh, he tried to get a girl to, um... You know... Essentially be his girlfriend. And, uh... You know, that plan ultimately failed. By the time, uh... A girl herself saw in the video and probably he, he probably deleted it when everyone in the uh, YouTube comment section of that video that I can't name because it's deleted uh, went after uh, Optimus for uh, you know embarrassing himself. But go on. Way. But I'd imagine that if I did think this way, I wouldn't want anyone to know. No starting another match if we're planning to hang out or I ask to hang out. Well, see, once again, he's his own person with his own free will. He's allowed to decide whether or not he wants to hang out with you or if he wants to play Call of Duty World War II. Why? Why are you fucking saying this? As a YouTuber, you have the, the, the privilege to be able to go back and cut out the parts of your recording that make you look stupid. But you fucking recorded yourself saying this, listened back to it, and thought, oh my god, my fans are gonna fucking love this epic female own. Actually, according to subsection 3.6, I have my own free will, and I will decide whether or not I want to hang out with you or play Call of Duty World War. Stupid bitch doesn't even know you can't pause online games. You must ask if it's okay for you to play while I'm over at your house with you. Make sure I have something to do while you are in battle. Okay, that was just fucking cringy. If we're ever dating and, and you tell me that I'm in battle, right? Like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look at you, right? I'm just gonna stare at you because that physically hurts me on the inside that you would say something like that to me. I it is a joke. It's a joke. Shut up. I don't know how anyone can be this lacking in self-awareness. Once again, he's his own person with his own free will. Like, if he... Well, if he lacks in any self-awareness... For a guy who has almost, for a guy who has about 1 million subscribers, then uh, how come in some points of that video that he's most likely right? she saw this before he removed it because he literally took it down less than an hour after it was published you know let's just dive into the text and uh, maybe through this uh you i'm talking to you we'll see because this is gonna be great to, to see the aftermath of what fucking aftermath are you on about do you think she's gonna like come crawling back to you i can promise you no woman will watch this video all the way through and say oh my god i want to have sex with optimus what is your goal here woke up this morning and I was texting her about something. 
anyway. So, you know, nothing crazy. I said, that's dope. So uh, when do you go to school there for what major? She said, psychology. And at that point, I'm like, okay, we got one of those. You know, I we got one of those. Oh my fucking God. Based on this, it sounds like these are not jokes. And he genuinely views women as lesser than males. Fucking one of those? What is, what? Psychology's not a, a bad program to go into. You know, either she's really, really intelligent or, uh, I... Wow, uh-oh, problematic, right? So, right, because Optimus is the pinnacle of intelligence, the man who cannot distinguish a joke from reality. You know, I've thought this... Even if he can't distinguish a joke from reality, and uh, probably should uh, work on, uh, you know... Uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, proper adequate. Then, uh, yeah. That's something Optimus should work on. This was a pretty genuine question, right? How hard is it? Because, you know, I've, I've always heard, like, psychology classes are really hard. There's a lot of work to it. So, you know, how hard is that, honestly? I've always been thinking that that's some difficult shit, which is true. I would think that psychology is kind of hard to kind of conceptualize and master. Fucking get on with it. Stop. He's repeated himself four times and still hasn't gotten to the point. According to her, not bad. Pretty fine. So, you're already seeing the problem here. I'm speaking in full sentences, she is speaking in singular words. If any women are watching this video, man, do not text like this. I am 20 years old. I am fully capable of being able to read a full sentence. Yeah. I think that was a bad take on Optimus's part because Anyone has the right to text wherever they want. If you want to text in full sentences like I do, then go right ahead. If a, if you want to text in like, you know, labeling text like you used to do in the early or late 90s to early 2000s, then go right ahead. I see the problem with that. I kind of really disagree with Optimus's deleted video take here. That's that's how I text. If I want to say something longer than that, I'll, I'll call them on the phone. Hey, if there are any women watching this, don't text like this. I don't like it. Maybe she was texting you like that on purpose. You know, maybe she was trying to, to get... If I want to say something longer than that, I'll, I'll call them on the phone. Hey, if there are any women watching this, don't text like this. I don't like it. Maybe she was texting you like that on purpose. You know, maybe she was trying to, to get you to lose interest. Because I can understand why any woman would be scared of rejecting you for fear of getting murdered. I'm fully capable of understanding what you have to say beyond just a couple words. Well, Optimus, you were not the cool kid back in the day, and I would understand that because I seen shows, I seen lots of old shows myself back in the day when people did have to text like that, and I'm pretty sure they still do today. So I don't see a problem here with women texting the way they should text, just like guys should be texting the way they should text as well. I mean, we all do it, especially on Twitter. You see these abbreviated uh, symbols of words. And, uh, you know, everybody, including your parents, they learn to text like this. Like, if they text LOL, which means laugh out loud, or if they text 4F4. Then, uh, you know, I don't see a huge 
issue with women texting like this as much as men texting like this. I kind of agree with uh, Soupy Poofy 69's point take on here. But if you want to text uh, in a normal way, then you do you. Let the women who choose to text their own way do it their way. That's the whole point of uh, doing things your own way, you know? If you don't have time to text right now, or you don't want to text right now, you can tell me that too. Once again, I'm a grown man. I, I really don't have to, like, you know, be... Like, I don't even know how to describe this. I, I don't need you to do this to try and, like, accommodate me. Not everything's about you. Some people just don't text in long sentences. So at this point, I'm just like, all right, this is the fourth day of this. Uh, bet, any plans for today? And she said, no. And I'm just like, okay. So uh, she's not busy, but she's texting like she's three and just learning how to talk. So usually when people do this, uh, there's something wrong, maybe. No, she, she answered your question. What what else is she supposed to say? All right, if you ever need someone to talk, let me know. Now, for me, this is a very uh, personal phrase because at this point, I'm quite literally offering you my time. I, I'm offering you something that is more valuable than anything on this planet. I get that you're joking. I get that that's a, a bit of hyperbolic language, that my time is more valuable than anything on Earth. But it still sounds really douchey. If you need me to give you time, to talk about something, to try and help you, I am available to do that. I only do this to select people, okay? Yeah, I only do it to select people, you know, really special people. Like like women I've only talked to for five days. I don't know if that means you're lonely or stupid. Usually, you know, it, it works out pretty well, and that person, if they ever do, I guess, claim that time, it comes to a very fruitful, uh, uh, conclusion. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fucking genius. Anyone who's ever asked me for help has ended up in a better situation than they were in before. I can't think of a single question or, or situation where... Fuck? Alright, go fuck yourself, honestly. This is a waste of time. She said okay! She said okay, and he said go fuck yourself? Oh my god! How do you have no shame? How do you say that? I spent four days texting a woman and she did not give me a blowjob. I don't know what to say. I'm still having a hard time believing that this is a real person. I almost feel like a white knight criticizing him and what he's saying. But I know I'm not. I, I, I know I'm just speaking as a normal fucking person would. I'm not gonna lie, I felt bad sending that because she... Well, even though you're speaking as a normal fucking person, he's also a normal fucking person, so I don't get what you're trying to get at here. But, yeah, I do agree that he was a little bit harsher to the girl that he was texting with. Like, yikes. I wouldn't be put in that position. If I, if I were to date anybody, thank God I'm not, like, into anybody at all. Like, this is just, this is why I don't, you know, go after women like that. That's why I stay t single. Because women want to be uh, doing things their own way, and I'm just not into that. Finally, I guess, conversate. No, if you were the one who knew how to speak on like a toddler, you would have used the word converse. Because conversate is just fucking barely a word. In fact, a lot of academic scholars don't even consider it to be one. But no, fucking don't. If you have the opportunity to use the word conversate, sub it out for converse. I didn't do Conversate and converse. Let's see. Hey Google, what's the word? definition of conversate. According to Grammarly, conversate is a non-standard verb that means to have a conversation. To find out more, look for the link in your Google Home or Google Assistant app. Hey Google, what is converse? Here's 
the definition of converse? Engage in conversation. Didn't do anything to you, but whatever. Yeah, four days of my time, woman. Four days of my time. You didn't do anything to me, but yeah, four days of his time, and you didn't you didn't blow him. Why is he so angry about this? Surely a guy who knows so much about women has girls lining up to speak to him. You act like you don't know how to fucking speak. I'm trying to converse with you and get to know you. I told you everything that you asked. You speak in three-word sentences. We aren't four years old anymore. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I was a little, I was molding a little bit here, okay? You're, you're still molding. I think rightfully so. So, uh, I'm just busy right now. Keep in mind, I've been asking this, this girl all kinds of things. Got any plans for the day? What are you majoring in? Just something to try and figure out where her mind is right now. But hey, guess what? That wasn't good enough, okay? That was not enough to just try and ask that, try and, you know, learn more about this person, try and figure out things about them. And it... If a girl doesn't want to talk to you right now, she probably means that she doesn't want to talk to you at all. Like, uh, ever. Because, uh, she's not into you. But, on the other hand, I understand that Optimus is trying to be a little bit more entertaining. So, I'll give him props for that. But, the video that he, te like, tend to made about the girl that he was referring to who he texted to and and mentioned you know not her name entirely but just her saying that if, if she was watching this then uh, obviously plan, that plan would have uh, backfired immediately once he uh, deleted the video You had no right to be angry! Doesn't matter, I guess. I'm not good enough. And at this point, man, I just like, I slapped my knee and just looked in the air. I, honestly, go fuck yourself. Because at this point, even, I'm just, I, I'm still, I guess, trying to recover this, right? You know, it, it's like, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm pretty casual at Smash Bros, right? But it's almost like when, uh, when you get hit with a combo or something, you get... Don't, don't use a Smash Bros analogy to talk about how you were unable to pick up on signs that a girl wasn't interested in you. I'm just gonna let you guys in on a little secret here. Guilt tripping like this does not work, okay? It just doesn't, especially if you're talking to a grown man, because I'm just gonna laugh at you. The, the mental manipulation simply does not work on me. So, uh, GG, I guess. So this, is, this is another example of how Optimus gets so fucking close, so close to understanding the point, being that she is trying to give signs that she's not interested in him, and he just fucking completely ignores it. Not once does the fucking idea that this woman possibly is not interested in him cross his mind, and it's yeah, I, yeah, I get where you're coming from. As I already said, if a girl is not into you, then she's not interested in you. I mean, that is the whole point of dating somebody, right? Right? Am I right or wrong? <laughs> 